time I go like this, it looks like I'm not wearing a dress. So welcome back guys, hope you guys are having an awesome day. All the makeup that I'm using in today is all from the drugstore, so check, 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 okay? You can go to prom on a budget. I did my makeup on a budget from prom, I actually did my own makeup to prom, if you don't know. Today's video is sponsored by David's Bridal. They did provide me with dresses and shoes to show you guys for proms. You can find tons of different dresses from David's Bridal's for prom. Also what I love about David's Bridal's is that you can also find different sizes. I think one of the main things that we as women have is finding different sizes for prom dresses and I think prom dresses should come in all different sizes because there's all different sizes in this world that's all really beautiful. They're super affordable and at the same time if you ever go to a David's I actually have one right down the street here in New York City, like a one-stop shop, which makes your life so much easier. They have dresses, shoes, bags, accessories, anything you need for like a special occasion, they have you, so check on that. I will link David's bridal down below, and also I will definitely link all their social media down below. Also, in addition, I forgot to mention that I show you guys how to do my hair like this. Yes. Okay, hope you guys are pumped. Thanks again for watching, guys, and let's begin. Alright guys, so first thing first is we're starting off with a blank canvas. I already have my brows folded. I have a whole brow routine for you to go check out. Definitely go check it out before your prom day. But I'm going to start off with priming my eyes. I'm using my NYX eyeshadow base. I'm just going to dip my hand in it. And this is going to be awesome. I definitely recommend for you to prime your eyes on your prom day. I know sometimes after prom, people usually go to like different places, whether it's like a house or whether you go out. No questions asked, because I remember on my prom night, I actually, after prom, we went out. So I thought we would keep this video very budget friendly. Whether you're going to use this look for prom or whether you're going to use it for another special occasion, I thought I would still help you out, so it's going to be on the drugstore side. So, the first palette I'm using, or most of the eyeshadows I'm going to use today is from this palette, and this is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1. So one of the first shadows I'm using today is this dark brown. We're going to mostly apply this at the outer corner of our eyes. Let's do it. So you want to focus this shadow at the outer corner of your eyes and then slightly bring it into the crease. So you just want to use a light hand and apply this out of the corner of your eyes. The lighter your hand, the easier it is for you to blend, I learned. Then I'm going to highlight the brow bone of my eyes using this shadow right here. It's like a light pinkish shadow. It's going to really make the brows pop and like when you're taking pictures, it's just going to really make the eyeshadow stand out. So do highlight your brow bone. Then using that same palette, I'm going to use this like light, pinky, shimmery color. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Urban Decay Sin. I'm going to pop this on the lid area of my eyes and then press it across. Now I usually just tab it on, but I apply it and then I press it just to make sure I get as much pigment as I can. I'm also going to use this beautiful shadow that is from ColourPop. This is called Eye Candy. Again, I'm popping this on the lid air of my eyes. And you have to use your hands with these shadows because they're so creamy. Then going back in with my brush, I'm going to help shape out that lid eye shadow just to make sure everything looks blended together. I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges by just carving it out. Then I'm going back in with my brush that I used to apply that crease shadow. It's a morph brush, if you're wondering. Then I'm going back into that same dark brown and applying it at the outer corner again. So I'm going to use a black shadow to help intensify this look even more. If you can see, this palette does not have any black shadows in here. So I'm going to use, are you ready? Makeup Geeks Corrupt, one of the blackest, blackest shadows I've ever used before. So I'm super bummed, okay? And just go ahead and look in your collection, look what black shadow you have, and use that. Don't worry about it. Use any black shadow you want. So I'm going to apply this shadow at the outer corner of my eyes also to deepen out this look. And a little of this shadow goes a long way. Then I'm going to be doing a lovely wing liner. I'm using my Maybelline Matte Precise Eye Studio Liquid Liner or Felt Tip Liner. Then to make sure this liner stays on all throughout the night, I'm going in with a gel liner also. This is from Maybelline and this is a gel 
Studio. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the eye studio from Maybelline. Get it right, girl. Then I'm popping on some lashes. I'm using Coco Lashes and Goddess. I think these are just beautiful for like a special event. And this is going to make your lashes or your eyes pop really amazing. So let's pop on some lashes. I think prom, you need lashes. End of story. I would usually say mascara, but do some lashes. Practice before if you don't know how to apply lashes. So prior to starting to film, I moisturized my skin to hydrate it. Hello. Make sure you have your moisturized on beforehand. And then now I'm going to move on to priming my skin. So I'm going to be using the Garnier 5 Second Blur Skin Renew Primer. Then for my foundation today, I'm using the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer and my color is in 13 Chestnut if you are wondering. Now if you have oily skin, I recommend for you to try out the L'Oreal Pro... Now if you have oily skin, I do recommend for you guys to try out the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Love this foundation for oily skin. If you have dry skin, I still got you. I recommend for you to try out the L'Oreal True Match Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation. I recommend both of these foundations because they have a wide range of colors for different skin tones, which is very important. And also, they both have medium to full coverage. So, love them. For concealer today, I'm using the NYX Gotcha Concealer, and my color is in golden. Then I'm setting my skin with my face powder. I'm using my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. Then moving on to my lower lash line, I'm going to smoke it out with a little bit of Corrupt again from Makeup Geek. And this is going to really add some drama to the lower lash line. To diffuse the black now and add some contrast under the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the dark brown that we used first. I'm using this Royal Techniques brush and this is a 201 brush. This is perfect to get under the lower lash line. And as you're doing this, you, what you're doing is you're blending out that black also at the same time. Then I'm going to be applying mascara. I'm using the Falsies Push Up Drama from Maybelline. Then I'm going to bronze up my skin. I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Complexion Contour Palette. Then to highlight, I'm going to use the same palette I'm going to be using, the highlight color in this palette. And lastly for my lips, I'm going to outline them with Jordana's 20. Then I'm going to be going in with this lip color from L'Oreal, and it's called Ferris Nude. Then I'm going to top off this lip with this NYX lip gloss, this butter gloss in creme brulee. Then lastly, I'm going to set my whole skin with this NYX Dew Finish Long Lasting Makeup. And this is going to really help to sink your makeup into your skin. Alright you guys, moving on to my hair. So I decided to do a half up, half down hairstyle. So first thing first is I moisturize it with this Amla Legend oil. It's really hard to say, but it's oil moisturizer, okay? So I actually apply this to my hair and then after that I decided to put my hair in a ponytail. Then after I put it in a ponytail, you saw all like all my dead ends casually, not so pretty. So of course we had to put those away and I decided to pin them back with a hairpin and this is my little trick to not look like I have dead ends or anything just pin it back or pin those short hairs back into your hair very easy very simple then I decided to curl my hair I'm using my Con Air 2 inch curling iron and you can definitely use a heat protecting spray if you would like to I proceeded not to just curled my top part of my hair and I curled the bottom part of my hair and I kept it very simple just like that
so this is the final look you guys and my dress like I said is from David's Bridal I absolutely love these dresses I'm so into peach corals and blues my prom dress was actually peach slash coral color so this is perfect for me and my shoes also are from David's Bridal if you guys are wondering again thank you so much for watching thank you so much to David's Bridal I will link again their website down below all the dresses down below all the shoes down below and I will use all the makeup products I use down below and David's Bridal social media sites Instagram Twitter Facebook I love you guys so much this video wouldn't be possible without you and I'll see you guys in the next video adios